And we're back to Mass Effect 2. Finally got Garrus, somewhere down below on the deck below us. And Morden over there in the tech lab. Mm -hmm. So, also I realized, well, uh, we still have unread messages. From the Omega Clinic desk. Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fears at Dr. Solus' clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check. How bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague, and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he'll learn. He's he learned from the best. From Admiral Hackett. Commander Shepard, the Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at a Normandy's crash site, and we've sent it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you provided peace of mind to a lot of people. Commander, I thank you on their behalf. <sighs> it was something necessary. Yeah. Now, there is still much to do. So, we could head to the Citadel, also get Kasumi. We could head head over to recruit Warlord Akir. Now it's probably something better left for later. This only was the Master Thief, right? Yes. Let's go there. <coughs> okay. Uh, I, mean, I think you deserve her since you read the description. Citadel it is. Citadel indeed. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans. Well, we know that's a damn lie. Yeah. At least the model's a lot better. You can actually see the, um, the extra parts of the shell on the two ends of the wards that actually close it off completely. Oh yeah, I should probably close my own. <laughs> Let's focus on what you do. I need one more point for the last point. Eh, because I can't be bothered. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, yeah, auto level up. And yeah, that's fine. Been a while since we've been here. Welcome to Zakara Ward. Commander Shepard. Enter the password and receive a free gift. I like Got people. problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. <laughs> She's got some creative lines. Commander Shepard, we have the finest companions waiting for you. Perhaps something petite, smart, and Japanese would be your style. <laughs> Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? <laughs> oh, she is saucy as fuck. Hey, hey, hey. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. <coughs> My fault for being hard to find, I guess. <laughs> What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. 
And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. <laughs> Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray <laughs> box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... Oh my. ...got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. <laughs> if that's what Cerberus <laughs> promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. Not likely. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. <laughs> and well, there we go. The Master Thief. Yeah. Keep and yeah, we can uh, alter the constructs adapted to work in Citadel. Could uh, have from or something. I on purpose. Wish I could have studied them. Had other things to do instead. No, we scanned them, and that's about it. I mean, like, at the end, we did the... No, I think that was, uh... Well, maybe. Oh, oh, Ooh. right. This. this is a yeah, we uploaded the sequence so that they wouldn't let the... Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress-class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% uh, of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton yeah, yeah. bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means... Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes sir. <laughs> And that is why Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space! I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. 
Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. <laughs> okay, then. I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed, but it's just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next. They have flashlight heads. Still. Reaper started controlling other people. Mm. <coughs> Weapons detectors. Don't remember those from last time I was here. Upgraded security. Shut it down. Commander Shepard, sorry. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're dead. I should have gone back and swapped out Kasumi because she's got a great... I didn't touch anything when that goes off. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. <laughs> we need to get that cleared up for you. Officially, sir, only CSEC are allowed to have weapons on the Citadel now. But I'm an exception, right? <laughs> Actually, you are. We got word from the CSEC executor's office that you should be allowed to keep your weapons. That's surprising. Executor Palin didn't seem to like me last time I was here. <laughs> Palin? He was killed by Geth in the Battle of the Citadel. CSEC's current commander is Desi and Chelling. He said you tend to find trouble and you need to be armed. Chelling is executor. <laughs> Safe, but not the choice I'd have made. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. In case you don't remember, Chelik was the uh, investigator from that one side quest. <clears throat> who who played as a drunk. Little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. He's a bit of a rough captain. Sometimes he's for the best. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul <laughs> says you're dead. But you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. <laughs> but I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. Understandable. Have a nice day. Yeah. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them yeah. right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. What a say. Agreeable. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should well, head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still that's, alive. That's uh, even and longer than I expected. wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest yeah, way to maybe. get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Right. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, the you know Council what? can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? You know, unless it involves investigating a, ro a rogue specter. Right. I overheard your conversation. You Make him scream a little. This isn't a presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speed zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs. Organized crime and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. 
Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rule book. CSEC has changed. <laughs> I can't tell if that's admiration or not. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's oh, has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course. They fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Dillanaga. We've heard that name before. We spent forever, uh, forever trying to get all those writings. <laughs> Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Salarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Fair enough. I Fair should enough. be going. Yeah. You need anything else, let me know. A human did kind of save their asses. <laughs> yeah, or as he put it, save their scaly asses. I mean, not all of them were scaly. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs Outlets are owned by the Council Government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Hmm. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. Basically saying, hey, you don't talk to the vendor anymore, you just go up, go up to a kiosk. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness, I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. And what does she sell? A hamster, a fish, and some models. Well, we have a hamster. Yes. Let's have a hamster. Maybe later. Aww. Hey, that's credits. With how many you got from Alba, they haven't completed the game. Shhh. Cafe. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. <laughs> High grade it's provisions. We were asked to find some of those. Oh, we did? Yeah, from the mess, mess sergeant. <laughs> Ascension novel and Revelations novel. Basically, if you're buying these, uh, puts a summary in your codex of the book. Because oh. these, these two are actual Mass Effect novels. Cool. Yeah, I have all of them, but I've only read one of them. Because I'm lazy. And one of them, I forget which one, is actually a, in a state of continuity debate, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, that would make things a bit more complicated. Yeah, and in fact, according to either one of the books or I think a graphic novel or something like that, uh, Executor Chelik was actually killed, not Chelik, Executor Palin was actually killed by Bailey, the captain up there. When he resisted arrest because the council, because Councillor Udina ordered an investigation on him, or something like that, I don't remember. It's been a while. I have no idea what that means. Oh look! Something is a thief, and I want her arrested. I was just walking by. 
we'll come back to that in a minute. Yeah, it's not the important one. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit shit was gone. I didn't even touch you. In fact, let's head up to the Presidium real quick. Yeah, we do kind of need to speak with the council and stuff, huh? Yeah. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander! We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper, Sovereign. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard. No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Your, con so it's like your ability to make informed decisions is about as crappy as, as those holograms. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. Fine. Yeah, sounds about right. Better than nothing. I accept your offer. It's good to have the council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Yeah, that's all soon. Well, that went better than expected. You realize uh, Garris, the council's okay. offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Garris, you okay? <laughs> Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the council or the alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out with the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. <laughs> <Good laughs> to both of you. 
I've... Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. I've always had Udina as counselor, so that conversation always goes very differently. You're welcome. <laughs> Funnily enough, Udina still doesn't walk in until then, so that entire exchange still goes on with just Anderson. <clears throat> Udina's just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus... He's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. <laughs> what happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. You know, it's um, operations, the, operations Chief. She's been promoted. Mm-hmm. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really <laughs> thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. How the last couple of years treated you? There was something about that. <laughs> Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. Yeah. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? I have no idea what it's doing with my subtitles there. Yeah, it was uh, about to ask you Like, I have absolutely no idea. Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line... Yeah, I kind of feel you. That's got to be yours. Yeah, I guess so. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. No shit. Sure. And hey, we recognize that thing over there. Uh, the tall gray thing. Oh. <laughs> we remember the the relay statue. Yeah. Or quote that wasn't just statue. A statue. <laughs> yeah, you know, minor details. Air, air quotes. Yeah, I wonder if we could activate it again. Probably wouldn't really matter anymore. Okay, now let's deal with this. You know what quarians are like. They take anything not welded to the deck. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to calm down. I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan, just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with CSEC and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. 
Sure. All I know is I didn't take it. You spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a quarian who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. <clears throat> you say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Are you sure you didn't leave your chip at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. I'm just wondering, where even had his pockets? <coughs> As you can well imagine, if you wait to do this until you have Tally, she has quite some choice words. Yeah, probably. Especially because, especially because normally, uh, Volus will call Corians migrant clan. Saying clanless is basically saying they, they're a bunch of vagrants. Hmm. So it's an insult. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Corian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Corians are like. She's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... <sighs> all we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of her officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. All right. Serta Foundation. That's Serta. Yep. So we'll go there in a minute. So we're gonna supplicate. Let's see what they sell. Useful stuff, but a discount would be better. Welcome to Sarenus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. <laughs> Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. <laughs> Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't... I think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. We're gonna be hearing that a lot. We're gonna hear it out at a lot of stores, aren't we? Aren't they gonna start having trouble with each other? And <laughs> they are, are, aren't they gonna get start start going? Wait a second! He's got a lot of favorite stores, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite phrase in my vocabulary. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. That's, I'll be here if you need that. anything. Yeah. Wait, okay. This damage, damage protection. Like, I'm pretty sure Serta Foundation would actually point you over to it, but who's got time for that? Speaking of Serta, though. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the Immuno Booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. <laughs> Tell me about your store. 
The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. Yeah, which, is, which is actually illegal. But are you going to tell people to stop using that? Wait, maybe it is illegal? It technically breaks uh, Citadel Conventions for Ungenetic Engineering. I guess it's one of those things that got so crucial that it it's too that useful it to ban. Yeah. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite meme on the internet. <laughs> Metagel capacity. Now what's this? Yeah, New armor piece. Ooh, what is it? Gotta catch them all. Probably won't even use it. Now let's go deal with this credit shit. You claim you didn't take his credit shit? No! I was walking by and he just turned oh, on me and started screaming. Not her side of it. Please move along. You forgot your credit shit at Serona's applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close his event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute! And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Son of a... <laughs> Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in the Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. Yeah, those guys were definitely a source. Yeah. Now how she was, she could be going here and end up way over on the other side of that. Uh, who knows? Anyway. There's more stuff to s I still don't know what that means. Shameless. I have I have no idea, but you know you know what apparently the uh It's like welcome to the store basically. Uh, you know what the, um, uh, like, chief item on the menu at the store is supposed to be, right? Uh... Ramen. Of course. <coughs> I mean, it was definitely Japanese, it's but It's what there's usually say when you enter as most of... Huh. The more you know. Anyway, there's... There's more to do around here, but... We'll have to do some of that next yeah. time. Just took me a moment to remember. <laughs> anyway... So... We'll pick this up next time. Goodbye.